Today, we're going down to Louisiana to do some rail fanning on KCS tracks. The railroad tracks begin to parallel the road right after crossing the state line. This is KCS's Shreveport subdivision. It starts in Hebner, Oklahoma, and ends just north of Shreveport at KCS's giant Doramus yard. Depending on what the STB says about the CPKC merger in the coming weeks or months, this could easily be the last we see at Kansas City Southern. The first rail fanning spot on this trip is a bridge spanning Caddo Lake, and not too long after getting situated, the first train of the day came rolling through. This was a speedy southbound mixed freight. Once that train was gone, it was a good while before the next train, and after a long wait, it finally came screaming over the bridge. This is a coal drag that likely originated in Wyoming, and all this train's engines were Union Pacific. When railroads interchange entire trains with each other, it's usually cheaper to just leave the original locomotives on the train, which is exactly what we see here. Before leaving Caddo Lake, I'd like to tell y'all about this place's rich history. You know those giant overwater oil rigs that dot the world's oceans? Well, Caddo Lake is home to the world's first overwater oil rig. It was called Ferry Lake No. 1 and was made way back in 1911. After the first oil rig was drilled on the lake, they began to pop up all over the place. It was once said that you could walk across Caddo Lake simply because of how many oil rigs there were. Today, there are no standing or active wells left, but you can still see plenty of wooden support structures sticking out of the water. Each one of these used to be an oil well many decades ago. After catching a couple trains on Caddo Lake, we moved north to the small town of Vivian, Louisiana. There's an old KCS depot here, as well as a restored caboose. The depot was built in 1921, and has since been converted into a museum. After about half an hour of waiting, a southbound mixed freight came through. This train had two Thunder Cab SD70 Aces in the lead. Thunder Cab Aces are interesting. They don't have an isolated cab, which usually gives the train crew a pretty noisy ride. The noise problem's so bad that BNSF actually banned Thunder Cabs from leading trains. But here on KCS, they're treated just like any other locomotive. About a day later, we come back to the KCS depot to catch a northbound manifest. This train had a real good lash up too. It was half EMD, half GE, with a yard engine in fourth. It's always interesting to see loaded well cars thrown in on mixed freights. This is something I've really only seen on Norfolk Southern and KCS, but I'm sure other railroads do it too. For the last train of the day, we move over to a big curve where we catch a southbound rock train. The engineer even gave a horn salute. Yeah. 
once that train was gone, it was time to bid adieu to Louisiana. Hopefully these tracks will still be operated by Kansas City Southern the next time I visit. Thanks for watching. If y'all enjoyed this video, consider checking out some other ones of mine. Till next time.